My name is Jack Gaskell. I am a retired consulting engineer who just completed three consulting engineering books, and I'm anxious to share my over 35 years of experience operating my own engineering practice. The following program is excerpted from my latest book, The Consulting Engineer's Guidebook. What are consulting engineers? Consulting engineers are individuals who, because of training in one or more engineering specialties, are licensed professional engineers in private practice. They serve private and public clients in ways ranging from brief consultations to complete design and coordination of projects. Do you want to be a consulting engineer? Benefits. It's interesting work. Each project is unique with specific requirements, existing conditions, options, and cost constraints. Participation in all aspects. You create your engineering specialty of a project from the study through the design, approvals, bidding, shop drawings, and construction observations. And you're not stuck behind a desk. Some of your day will be made up of meetings with clients, vendors, colleagues, utility companies, contractors, and others. Field investigation and job site observations may also be included. There are drawbacks. You are in an adversarial position. Your oversight of a project is to make sure that the owner gets the equivalent of what you specify. The contractor typically wants you to accept an inferior product. Your client expects you to protect the building owner's interest, and the owner often wants better than what you specify. The construction industry is cyclical. If you're good at your job, you will usually be working. But if a recession is too deep, you may find yourself unemployed. Deadline pressure. Deadlines are constantly changing, and often there are multiple projects pressuring you for your attention. Over time and sorting out the top priorities can be stressful. Profitability pressure. Everyone in business is driven by a profit motive, even consulting engineering firms. No matter how good that you are at your job, if you can't make a profit for the company, you will not last. Too much work. Consulting engineering firms are reluctant to turn down projects because they can never tell when current projects will be delayed and they may have spent a year or more waiting for a new project that suddenly gets the go-ahead. That creates more stress for you. Conversely, too little work is even more stressful. It almost never seems like the workload is steady. You're the bad guy. During construction, the owner sees you occasionally, but usually sees the contractor every day and friendships are formed. Before you know it, in protecting the owner's interest, you are being too hard on his friend. Becoming a consulting engineer was one of the best decisions that I ever made. I had a different adventure every day. I hope that you will find a career as a consulting engineer, as satisfying and fulfilling as I did. To learn more about consulting engineering, read the Consulting Engineers Guidebook. Go to theengineersresource.com. Thank you for your attention. I wish you much continued success.